to anyone out there who's really trying to understand manifesting and use it in a way that it actually works so that you actually start getting your desires, there's something that you need to remember and that is it's really all about making very tiny shifts. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what tiny shifts you want to be making in particular to manifest love into your life, the greatest love of your life, you know, whatever that is for you, a relationship where you feel really met. A lot of people can feel very overwhelmed with that process. And I want to assure you that it's very doable when you think about it in the way that I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, before I jump in, I want you to know that if you want to know specifically the steps for you to take to manifest the greatest love of your life, definitely download my free ebook. You can type 30 in the comments below to get this ebook. And it's all about really honing in on exactly what you need to do to make those little shifts to call in the love of your life. So let's talk about this. Um, you know, what people can feel with manifesting is that it's very overwhelming. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to think like the end result has, is already mine. I don't know how to become a new version of myself. I don't know how to change my self-concept. And all of that happens, the changing of you, which is what eventually changes the 3D reality, the changing of you happens through tiny shifts every single day. And so what are those tiny shifts? Mostly those are tiny shifts in the way that you're thinking. And when we are starting out on the path of manifesting and we are wanting to create a new reality, we are going to want to start to shift our thinking in the direction of the thing that I want can be mine, okay? Usually anyone, I'm gonna stick to the example of relationships, anyone who's manifesting a relationship and you're kind of stuck in the process of not being in the relationship, not finding the love of your life, your person's not coming in, anything like that. What that means is your mind, and if you were to watch yourself, watch your mind, your mind is probably cycling through a lot of thoughts that are saying exactly that. Like, where are they? Why am I still single? You'll also notice that those thoughts really evoke a feeling state inside of you. And that feeling state is like the sense of being single. You just feel single. You feel alone. You feel lonely. And so that is your self-concept. That is your dominant belief about who you are. And the way that you start to move in the direction of creating the reality you want, which is being partnered, being happy, creating a family, having the love of your life, spending holidays with your person, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to create, which mostly if you're creating a relationship, it's all those things. You're creating like this loving bond with someone else. Well, then your work is to take tiny steps towards thinking that that is your new reality, thinking that that is possible for you, thinking that that is a potential for you. Now, you've if you've listened to me before, you probably have heard me say this. If you're new to me, you, maybe you haven't. You don't have to exclusively think as though you have your end result already. That's really a myth in the manifesting community, and I'm going to explain why. Your job as a manifester is to step by step move closer to thinking as though you have your desire or to thinking as though your desire is possible for you. If trying to tell yourself, I'm in this amazing relationship, I'm so loved, I'm so, you know, if that is very hard for you, you can start telling yourself, it's coming. I trust it's going to happen. Maybe you could tell yourself it's going to happen in next year in 2025. Whatever feels more opening, like there's a greater potential, whatever is moving you in the direction of feeling like, yes, being in a relationship is possible for me, that is moving you towards the end result. What's going to happen is eventually you're going to actually convince yourself that the relationship is possible. That's what happens when we repeat new thoughts. 
When you repeat new thoughts in your mind, you eventually start to believe in that reality. The reason is the new thoughts evoke a new feeling state in your body. And that new feeling state, the more you practice it, starts to feel familiar. So you want to start by finding, well, what are the words, affirmations, imaginal acts that make me feel even just a little closer to my desire. If my desire is to be loved by someone and to, you know, enjoy holidays with the love of my life and get married and feel totally embraced and chosen, what are some things I would tell myself if that was happening? I'll give them to you right here. You'd be telling yourself, I feel amazing in this relationship. I've never felt so met in my life. I feel so chosen. You'd maybe be telling yourself, this person is blowing me away. Wow, this is the greatest relationship I've ever had. Or again, if those are too close to the end result and they're just not believable to you yet, maybe you, you can tell yourself something like, I'm so excited that my person's gonna come into my life sometime next year. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's going to happen. Now, if you start telling yourself thoughts that are in the vicinity of everything I just shared with you, and you do that regularly, and you find new thoughts that feel good to you in a similar way, and you tell yourself those thoughts, and then you find new imaginal acts or new ways of acting as though it's already happening, or just little sparks of like hope that this relationship is going to happen, that's what's going to be what changes you. And there's a sense of momentum that actually starts to happen. Because once you get used to telling yourself that this relationship is going to happen, it becomes easier and easier to do so. That's really what happened to me when I was manifesting my husband. First of all, I already knew what thoughts to tell myself. I just was a seasoned manifester. So I knew how to have imaginal acts of being with the love of my life. I knew you know, how to do the inner conversations. I knew the affirmations to tell myself. And I talk about that in that free ebook. If you type 30 below, I also talk about that in my course I do. So I knew what to tell myself. And once you get into the, the uh, I guess you could say like the rhythm of telling yourself these new thoughts, these new imaginal acts of really pretending and feeling and imagining and being with your person, it's like a snowball effect. It starts moving you in the new direction. So don't be overwhelmed that like you have to change yourself entirely to manifest what you want. That's not actually true. It's it's tiny steps. And if you break it down into tiny steps that literally can be done in five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day, or you start amping up the amount of time you spend manifesting, but you just do these tiny steps that are making you think and feel differently, making you feel more hopeful that your desire will be yours, you're going to manifest it. Okay. Thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. If you want to learn how to manifest your specific person, I suggest you watch this video next.